Hi, welcome back to Informatica tutorial. So last class we talked about expression transformation, uh, IIF function and uh, MD5 function. So in this class we'll talk about, uh, we'll, this is a continuation of expression transformation. So, so I have a problem uh, like from source, I'm getting a some record. So I want to, uh, this is source, uh, sorry, one second data is going to source qualifier and then uh, I want to do some checks uh, like uh, so for example uh, before sending to the target I want to do some checks like whether salary is negative or positive if salary is negative uh, suppose salary is uh, neg uh, greater than zero or less than zero uh, or greater than or equal to zero there could be these two possibilities uh, for each record I want to check uh, I want to route these records to I want to mark these as error and route to a bad file and continue with the rest of the record so that is one option or I want to mark these as uh, error and uh, I mark these as error records and about the whole session I don't want to here in this case all good records I want to load uh, to the target so all these records will go to the target in this case but in this case everything will get aborted and uh, the the moment the first uh, record with negative salary comes in the whole session gets aborted and uh, not even good records will go to the target table so that is the use of the abort function in the expression transformation so let's see how to do this with uh, expression transformation so I will demonstrate the error and about functions with the same uh, expression mapping which I created before. So I want to give a condition here or I want to uh, give one more add one more field called O underscore salary. So what is the salary port data type decimal 8 comma 2. So same thing I'll put here. Uh, I can also move the output port to the just below the input port by using this arrow here and I'll put it as decimal 8 comma 2 it should be the same as input so here I'm going to give a condition IIF so the same thing which we have used earlier if salary is less than 0 then there is a function called error so special functions if you go there is an error uh, negative salary I want to put a message so here you, it accepts a message here you, you can see here so I want to put a message called negative salary here else if salary is not less than zero I want to pass the salary as is to the output so I need to validate the expression once before I do so let's see uh, now uh, let me connect the O underscore salary sorry this is a salary level so let me connect this O underscore salary to this salary so because I've made this only input port uh, this link was gone before when the moment I made it as an input port so that is no longer an output port so now I'm connecting this output port to the salary so I'm saving this and coming back here and uh, refresh the mapping so now if I run uh, this without any change in the source data it will run as is and it will load the same old data because I don't have any negative salary in my source table so let me check that as well quickly where salary less than zero I don't have any negative salary records so what I'm going to do is so it succeeded and loaded 107 records and uh, you can see here if you run this the data would be same as before but now uh, I want to I have created uh, earlier a table called employee test so let me that and inserted the 107 records from the employee to the employee test in the HR schema so let me go to HR schema here and uh, see what MP EMP test has it has 108 records now so I want to truncate this table and reload again from the employees table so basically this is my I'm preparing the test data uh, I want one record with negative salary in uh, EMP test I don't want to alter the employees table which is given by Oracle uh, so I'm just uh, 
creating one more table uh, which I can use uh, as my test ta test table to uh, to test different scenarios. So let's do. That. So I will also commit this, and uh, I'm going to update uh, salary. So now, if I check EMP test, I have a lot of records. So I'll take 110 employee ID and update the uh, update EMP test set salary equal to minus one into salary where EMP employee ID equal to 110. Only for one record, I'm setting a negative salary here. So and I'll commit this. So let's run this. Uh, also, I want to give here in my source. I want to give uh, the input from this EMP test table now and not the employees table, which is given by Oracle. So so let me run this and see what is going to happen. So uh, out of 107 records, 106 uh, went into uh, the target and uh, one record is rejected uh, because of the negative salary so let me see now in the target uh, schema whether 110 110 exists so it won't be there because we have routed it to the error uh, where e employee id equal to 110 so only this record will miss and let's see the log file what it says about the error record so it did say here uh, negative salary here and then uh, it, it's an error and then uh, it is also showing the record with the negative salary minus 8200 but i'm wondering why it uh, in spite of the error it did not fail so let's see here what is stop on errors i think i put stop on errors as zero so let let's make it one and then run the session again this time the session will fail because one error record occurred and uh, it will also fail the workflow because we have clicked the fail parent if the task fails. So we have seen this earlier. I just want to show it again. Yeah, you can see now uh, it failed. Uh, it didn't load any record uh, because the first error itself it uh, uh, got uh, errored and it uh, went to uh, it didn't load anything. And uh, we can see the uh, so. Uh, we will see now how what happens if we use a bot instead of uh, so I'm going to set uh, this stop on errors back to zero here and then so that unlimited errors it will accept and then uh, it will route the bad records to a bad file and then uh, instead of uh, error function here I'm going to use a bot so earlier when we used error what happened was all the 106 good records went into the target and one record went uh, into the bad file so let's see now what is going to happen so i'm going to refresh the mapping session refresh the session and then uh, with the latest mapping and then run this again with the about function so let's see what's going to happen so this time it aborted with the negative salary and zero records got loaded even though we have given stop on errors as zero uh, zero records got loaded because uh, the abort function will abort the session at that point of time it will not load uh, anything for uh, even the good records after that so it just aborted the whole session at that point the error uh, function will only tag those records mark those records as error and it will still load all the good records to the target so this is the difference basically between the error and abort so in the next class, we will see some other transformation. Uh, thank you.